here because then you'll get reverb into your microphone. Yeah, you'll fuck my video up, dude. Yeah, dude. Wait. Yeah, don't fuck it up, Dale. Yeah, dude. Wait, what did you say? Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> What is going on everybody and welcome to the video. So today I figured I would sit down and I would talk with some of my really good friends that love Kingdom Hearts just as much as I do. Um, thought it'd be a lot of fun rather than sitting down doing a formal little, you know, like let's review the game and all that stuff. I figured it'd be fun. We could all sit down, we could chat, we have a script, but we are going to be sort of like round table discussion in this thing. So um, yeah, it's going to be a lot of fun. I'm here with my boy Mark. Yo, what up? I'm Mark. I'm with my boy Dale. What's up? I'm Dale. And then we're with my boy, Tim. Yo, what's good? Okay, and all these guys have actually been in one of my reaction videos before. I'm sure you guys remember, like, the Pirates reveal thing. Actually, all of you guys were in it, and that was one of my most popular reaction videos, so that was really cool. I, I think I threw I threw some of your cushions at someone. I'm sorry about that. <laughs> yeah, probably. <laughs> but yeah, no, like, that was, like, uh, before we get into it, I just got to say, like, that was probably, like, my favorite reveal of the entire Kingdom Hearts 3 cycle. So hype. In general, like, that was amazing for me. Yeah, I was on the edge of my seat, probably just grinning the whole time. <laughs> yeah, no, Dale, so yeah, many people just... in the comments were like, yo, that kid in the background that's like, I'm getting that PlayStation, boy! <laughs> yo, I, I stood up and started dancing when that PS4 got announced. I didn't even buy it. I was just so hyped that it was a thing. Oh, yeah, I didn't buy it either. I, I was going to buy it, but it literally sold out within, like, two hours, and I was like, oh... Yeah, well, GameStop like fucked everyone on that though. Like, yeah, they, didn't like, they like oversell or some shit? They did, which is which sucks. Yeah, yeah, I wanted one pretty bad, but I ended up getting a normal PS4 Pro, so it's all good. All right, it's all good. All right, cool. So then let's just uh, let's just jump right into it. So basically, oh, yeah. the first thing that we're going to be talking about is going to be the combat of Kingdom Hearts Three. Um, so this is something that obviously is like. One of the more criticized parts, I mean, obviously there's other things, but like combat's definitely something that I see a lot. It's too easy. Uh, it feels weird. There's too much going on. I just sort of like want to get your guys like general understanding of like how you felt about the combat. What did you really like about it? Like what was positive? And then we could talk about like the negatives and all that stuff after. Well, uh, th things that I really liked about it is I think it introduced like a lot of, you know, new things to the series that kind of weren't there before. Like, uh, blocking in the air, using items in the air, some things that I would consider being very useful and that a lot of people that are, uh, you know, really about like the 2FM gameplay would, uh, you know, appreciate. And I feel like going forward, maybe if they smoothen things out a little bit, um, you know, I feel like they could make a game with, you know, combat that's even superb to that at some point. I think there was a lot of really cool additions there. Yeah, because I was going to say, Dale, like, you're the one that I know that you like doing like, the crit and like speed runs, like all that stuff. So just before we get into like magic and all the other stuff, I was going to say like for like someone that, you know, like how you pay attention to how the game feels, combos and how that stuff works. Like, were you satisfied with how it felt or were you sort of, you know, I don't know. I, I think it felt decent. I think that um, it definitely could have been more refined. And I, I heard a lot of people saying, you know, it felt like a mixture of like zero point two and two and you know i would agree with that it, it felt a little bit floaty and there were certain things that i felt like um you know there like certain things with stagger mm. were a little bit off it, it did have much better um stagger than a lot of you know the other games that people criticize but the floatiness was uh definitely present I, I don't necessarily think that the floatiness makes the um the gameplay like bad or anything like a lot of people you know will yeah, it's sort or, of it's sort of know. just like it's like adapting to it, you know. Like I, I mean, personally, like I mean, I don't like the whole like challenge aspect. Of, I mean, I love being challenged and stuff, but like, I'm not big on like the whole like super crazy like tech like level one like critical mode runs like that. I honestly really don't care about. But like, it's nice to know that it's there, and like obviously like floatiness affects the gameplay like a whole lot. So like, I made a video like talking about it. How I was just like, look, there's like there's definitely like bad things like you can get punished in the air and stuff but they they fix that by saying like oh you can use items in the air oh you can block in the air so like there's ways to work around like the issues of it being like floaty and stuff yeah no i i think that the the combat um i think it was it was better than people you know gave it credit for i i think that they put a lot of thought into things like that and you know i think that they put um a lot of work into making it uh work very well 
Yeah. Um, it, it definitely could have been a little more tight and smooth, but I think they, they did pretty good considering, you know, all things. Yeah. Awesome. Okay. Um, so then we're just going to move on to like stuff that like, you know, that they've introduced or things just, you know, besides just like standard, like combat and stuff. So what did yeah. you guys, what did you guys think about links? So like, I didn't really use them, but like, <laughs> I didn't either. <laughs> <laughs> I think I used the uh, Ralph and Stitch like maybe once or twice, but I found Ralph would be kind of confusing. Yeah. I don't know if yeah, both of them were, but it's like definitely didn't use them. <laughs> yeah, uh, I just funny. I'm on my second playthrough now, and one of my things was going into this playthrough is I wanted to make sure to use the links more because like I used Simba once, and it seemed like it had a cool effect. But I kind of just the idea of them using all of the MP. I'd have a full MP bar. So a lot of times when I wanted to use the links, either I didn't have a full MP bar or I just, you know, there was no enemies at the time. And by the time I got into a battle, I would automatically just start using magic. I'm like, well, I can't do that. So I thought uh, the links are a cool option. It's a really good way to include new characters that couldn't make it into the final thing. You know, didn't have their own personal world. Like we've never seen Wreck-It Ralph inside a Kingdom Hearts game. So it was really cool to include someone like him. But I, I felt like the links, uh, you know, I'm sure there's a, there's a style to play with them, but I feel like, you know, they were a little, they are a little confusing to you. So I feel like there's something that's cool to have. Not necessary, though. Yeah, I was going to say the same thing. Sort of like, I mean, I've never really used like summons that much. Like, I mean, I used them in like, like when I had to in Kingdom Hearts, like, obviously when I was doing like proud and critical runs and stuff. The f I mean, I haven't tried Kingdom Hearts 3 on Proud, and obviously not on Critical, but I just never found a real need to use Links, so I guess we could sort of segue off of that, and it's like, I'd rather use my MP for Magic, and I think that Magic is so exploitable in this game, it's not even funny. Thunder! <laughs> oh thunder! My thunder! Yeah, oh my it's, god. Yeah, it's, it's really good, and, um, you know, the whole thing with that, too, is that with attraction flow you know you can almost sort of use that as like a replacement to links almost if you don't want to use them and waste the mp yeah so it, it gives you less incentive to use them I, I think that they're really helpful um you know like i i started playing level one a little bit i haven't finished it yet but they definitely are helpful in that situation i'm gonna say wreck it ralph is is really helpful <laughs> for for level one but um I definitely don't think they give you, you know, enough incentive to use them mm. with with like it taking, you know, a whole MP var bar versus, you know, you using attraction flow and you having a pretty similar thing with similar uh, damage output, but for free, essentially. Yeah, I was going to say, yeah, I was going to say like the attraction flow and honestly, like that's something that I thought was really stupid when I was like watching trailers I'm like oh great like flashy gimmick dude I used attraction flow so much in this game it's fun I love it but wait yeah wait. it's fun but like I definitely said to summon these things <laughs> yeah that's like like when was he like oh shit I can summon a carousel what the fuck yeah, that's... <laughs> that's weird yeah <laughs> Yeah, it, it, it is a strange concept, and it, it's one that I think that is it's really cool, and I think that it's uh, I, I just think that the way they implemented it, like I would have liked it to have been like specific to certain bosses or certain encounters. I feel like you can get it too much, and with all the enhancers and stuff. Yeah, it's you know, hmm. I agree with that. It's definitely um, it's definitely a cool thing in there, but I definitely feel like it, it can be a little bit um, almost like uh like immersion breaking too like when you're like fighting like you know a, an important boss in the game and then all of a sudden you, you you're on the running. fucking buzz like you're like blaster <laughs> yeah yeah and like the music changes too in most fights not all of them but in most fights the music changes so you'll be like da, you know da, da, fighting da, a boss da, at the end of the game da, da, <laughs> yeah da, 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 you'll, da, you'll have the really oh epic <laughs> all of a sudden Sora will whip out on a on a freaking carousel do, 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 do. oh yeah dude i forgot what boss it was like when i was fighting the seekers of darkness i think i killed terranort with the pirate ship and i'm like that was so like why did why does the game allow me to do that like <laughs> why so and you're like basically invincible when you're doing it so it's a good way to heal mp yeah if you're, if you're MP's out so if you want to just kind of you know recharge your mp bar just hop on a ride and just kind of relax see and that kind of goes into the one that dale was saying where attraction flow just sort of overshadows links because like in a sense where like, I, I don't i don't know because again i think i used links twice but like, your mp doesn't start recharging until you're done with the link right i um, believe so yeah because yeah. i'm pretty sure when, I, when i've used it the links you'll have your know, empty mp bar i feel like it should be like cure where no matter how much mp you have as long as you have mp 
it'll yeah. just use the rest of it. I agree with that. I, I think that would have been like a, you know, cause if you were down all of your MP, you would still have that option. I definitely feel like that would give you a lot more incentive to try it out. More. Exactly. Cause yeah. my thing is like, if I want to use a link, like now I have to use, I have to make sure I have a full MP bar summon the link and then once i'm done with it i'm out of mp so like you know if i'm taking damage i don't have a cure option i don't have damage to do magic like i mean option to do magic like there's just a lot of drawbacks to it that once you have all these situation commands that are not using mp like it kind of makes no sense to use a link yeah and again like the thing with like links is like i didn't see them doing as much damage as like attraction flow so again that's another situation where i'm like i'd i i just i found more use for attraction flow in every single like aspect as to why like i'm like oh i can use a link it's like oh but one attraction flow is way more powerful two it's way more fun three it costs no mp you know like it's just i'm like why would i ever use links when i have access to like attraction flow and like magic and stuff like yeah i I think the only thing that that links have on it is i'm pretty sure they last longer it seems like to me it seems like they kind of stick around for a bit longer than the um the rides do yeah I don't know. I mean, unless you have like four attraction uh, extenders. <laughs> <laughs> oh I mean, God. I think they're they're great. Uh, you know, I think they're great to have. They're a really cool. You know, addition to the game. I just feel like compared to every other option you have, like links just kind of take the hit. Like they're kind of just like the worst option out, out of all of them. I honestly forgot links existed, and like you know, like you know, going off of that, like going into something else that I found myself using more than links or anything in general. I and this is my favorite thing that they added. I love the Keyblade transformations. So I do much. as well. Oh my god, yeah. That is it's, like it's that. Wonderful. That is like the second I saw Keyblade transformations, I'm like, yo, we're about to be like the lingering will in this shit. This is like like Sora is OP. Like this is like. I, I, they're all fun. They're all good. And I like the they fact are. that, like, especially, like, in this game, you know, specifically because of Keyblade transformations, you use specific ones for specific things. Um, I was watching people stream the um, the Dark Inferno boss fight, and people were using the Olympus Keyblade because of the counter shield ability, where when you absorb more damage and you just deal a fuck ton in, like, a counter attack, that, like, specifically, that Keyblade would only be used for something like that. You know what I mean? Like, where you really mm-hmm. have to block and plan out your blocks and then you counter attack. And that's the best keyblade to use in that situation. So it's just stuff like that, which is like, it's just cool to me. And it's definitely one of the most, I feel like, combat enhancing things that they brought in new to the game. Because yeah. that that changes a lot of stuff. That adds a lot of potential to the game and a lot of different, you know, expressiveness and, you know, play styles to it. Yeah, exactly. And like, I mean, I guess this sort of like ties into it because we're talking Keyblades and I forgot to write this down, but I forgot to write down Shotlock. Like obviously Shotlock is like, it's more balanced in this game, I think, in my opinion. And I do like that the Shotlock changes like based on like the Keyblade that you're using and stuff. Yeah, I love that. That's awesome. You know, like it's better than the whole birth by sleep. You pick like your situation commands and yeah, that, that thing was like weird. weird. Yeah. This is just like, okay, you use this Keyblade, you get this transformation, you get this Shotlock. So again, it just adds more strategy to the game, which is awesome, you know? Yeah, each yeah. person, depending on how they play, they can pick their Keyblades. And I love the fact you can have three Keyblades attached now. Like, you can Fuck, easily switch yes. in mid-combat. I love it because normally when I play, like I'll have at least a Keyblade for power and then a Keyblade for magic. So if I know I'm going to let off a few magic hits, I'll switch to uh, you know to whatever Keyblade I'm, I, I'm feeling at the time. And I love the fact that I can just switch around and like if I want to use a transformation, I'll go to you know a different Keyblade. Like I love the Toy Story one you get in the beginning. Mm-hmm. You just because like the hammer yeah, is great. Yeah, I feel like it's just fun. Like it's just fun to run around and wield that hammer. So like so many of them just have such cool um, gimmicks to them and such cool like you know that it really does change the play style and it makes it that you know you get a new keyblade after every world that you could really keep changing your play style and just makes the game still fresh. Yeah, exactly. Because you could do like because obviously when you make the decisions at the beginning, you could magic builds, you could do tanky builds, you could do melee builds, and then that influences what keyblades you use. Because I've been watching people doing let's plays and I saw um, people that specifically would choose the magic at the beginning and they would focus on using like the tangled keyblade and the frozen keyblade and they would focus like you know all of their energy and stuff like that which is like really cool so like obviously like saw people using like the tangled keyblade like late in the game and i'm just like oh well i'm using the big hero six keyblade because that shit's op but like i'll be honest (laughs) the the end of the game i used the big hero six and the tangled one for magic the tangled one is just great the mirage mechanic oh my god the mirage staff that takes like two or three bars of health right right there dude yeah dude and the whole thing where when you dodge and you shoot out the clones like that thing is so cool (laughs) 
I yeah, love yeah. such a cool game. Uh, cool Mirage game. Staff is literally like one of the best ones. It's my favorite Keyblade besides the Ultima Weapon. I literally was the one yeah. that I used as my main like the whole game. It's so crazy. The only thing about it is though is it doesn't have a second transformation like a lot of the other ones do. It just has Mirage Staff. Yeah. But it's so crazy on its own that it, that it yeah. doesn't even need a second one. So it does make it interesting too if you want your transformations to be like a bit uh, quicker you don't have like the two tiers you kind of only have the one mm-hmm. you know so it, it, i feel like that changes things a little bit as well yeah exactly no so that's sick um awesome so just like you know out of curiosity like we'll go down like the, the list in the discord order like it's your favorite keyblade so we'll start with like mark what was your favorite keyblade i mean honestly like when i beat the game it told me that the toy story one was my was my most used and i just love the one i love the way it looks i love the way it felt like you know it had you know i chose strength into the uh, going to the game so the fact that it was a power one right off the bat i got uh you know i boosted that one and i love the hammer transformation the shock lock is sick uh on that one I'm, i was very i'm a very big fan of that so i you know when i finished the game i think i was using big hero 6 toy story and Mirage, and uh the tangled one word all right dale what was your favorite keyblade Oh, you already know. It's that sweet Mirage staff. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> it's so <obviously>. good. <laughs> I, I mean, I mean, I would put the Ultima weapon a step above it, but I feel like we, I want to go off like Disney World Keyblade. Yeah, that's what I meant. Ultima um, is like kind of busted. <laughs> yeah, and, and, and you know, I mean, like everybody loves the Ultima weapon. Yeah, you know dude. What I and mean? the one, so, no, but I gotta say, like, this is my favorite Ultima weapon, hands down. Like, this one just looks so sick. I love it. Yeah, it's, the shock lock just really cool. There. It's stupid. I love it. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Tim, what's your favorite Keyblade, man? So, like, I found myself using the, what was it called? The Rudder of Fate, I think. And um, Ever After the most. So, um, yeah. but definitely, um, I think Rudder of Fate definitely fit, fits my play style a bit more. Yeah, and then for me, I love, like, obviously, you guys know, I think I've, like, told you a hundred times, uh, Big Hero 6 is my favorite Disney movie, so I'm oh standing by it. Like, I absolutely love the Big Hero 6 Keyblade. I love the transformation. I love the way it looks. I love everything about it, dude. Oh, the second I got I think that, the, like, I loved it. I think the, like, microbots at the top look, like, a bit funky, but other than that, it just looks clean. Yeah, no, and I just I just love, like, the transformation. Now it does all the transformations. Oh, yeah, definitely. Which is, like, busted, so. <laughs> but, um... Okay, yeah, and then before we move away from combat, one more thing. Like, obviously, the things that people are talking about is the difficulty. Um, I thought the game was easy as fuck. It was. <laughs> it 100%. is easy as fuck. Definitely. Yeah, like, very. And I played on standard, but I already know, like, from some people that there's really no difference than being on proud mode. Honestly, yeah. like, I played standard my first run through, and I'm doing a proud run through right now. And I've I've found proud a little bit more easier at times. Maybe really? because I know what I'm doing because I've, I've played the game already. But I found no difference between the difficulties. And honestly, like my opinion, I got into a heated argument with someone about this the other day. And I feel like this game, like obviously it's not that difficult. You know, anyone can really play it. But I feel like this game is more about the story than really about See, playing it for a That's what I was going to get into. That's what I was going to get into when we get to like the story and stuff. Because like, yeah. I mean, I don't, I don't play Kingdom Hearts. Like obviously that's a part of it. But like, you know, I don't know about you guys. I'm in it for the story. That's the number one yeah. thing for me. Yeah, definitely. You know, so like if the combat like has issues with it, that doesn't really matter to me. When we get to the story, like obviously we'll talk about the story and stuff. But like, yes, yeah, you know, but like, like one like, thing I was I was I was watching another YouTuber telling me that like you know going over it and they were saying that how critical was found in the files and how critical will be here eventually as it always is. But they were saying that you know they really do like normally like uh, you can do level one runs on any difficulty now, which mm-hmm. is a cool thing. Normally you know they you only do that on proud or critical, but like now you can do any difficulty you can do level one run. So I feel like it's a cool like they're they're trying to make it more challenging if you really want to but you know like i said i feel like it's more of a story based game and like yeah. you know obviously it's it's i don't think it's meant to be like the most challenging game because like believe me I, we've had our fair sh- share of difficulties i mean dance water dance it's all yeah dude, for real, for real. <laughs> and like again like there there were very few moments where i found myself struggling like i'll be honest i think i died three times in the entire game and you know you, know, you don't seem you know, really, like... you know, the only time i died i died a lot during that that ship fight we fight Luxord in the Pirates world. Yeah, cause because they didn't, they didn't, they didn't say, they didn't say kill Luxord's ship. Cause I was just killing they, everything no, and everything kept responding. Yeah. I didn't know I could level up my ship. <laughs> Me neither. So I kept dying, and then I went Yo, like, fuck "Oh, crabs. You fuck crabs! You're, you're <laughs> yeah, fuck crabs! If you were to, if you were to level up your ship, so I spent an hour, I leveled up my ship, and I went in with a fucking vengeance, and I sh- killed the fuck out of him. Like, it was oh so my god! Bad. After you like, level up, yeah. you clean house. Yeah, dude, for real. I was like, no, I was like, no one told like the game didn't say like, oh, go level up your ship, or you can level up your ship. So I'm like, okay, I'm just gonna go. F- gonna go fight this guy and I'm fighting him and I, like he was destroying me and I'm like 
I don't get what's going on. Then my boy told me, it's like, oh, you can level up your shift, Mike. Why is it collect the crabs? I'm like, no, fuck these crabs. Yeah, no, I think I tried it like five times before I like clicked that like, hey, maybe I should level up my shift. Yeah, I, I wasn't that lucky. I got I got like at least ten runs in before like I had I, I decided to back out. Of it. <laughs> that was the most aggravating fight ever. Yeah. So I'm playing the game again on proud right now, and I'm uh I'm taking my like I'm taking my time. Like I'm not leaving a world until I have like all the lucky emblems, everything. So I think pirates is next for me, and I cannot wait to get my ship so high leveled. And I'm gonna go fuck him up. Yeah, dude, for <laughs> real. All right, cool. Proud. So um, da- oh wait, daily, you have one more thing to say or? Yeah, yeah, I was going to say, Proud Proud was definitely very easy for me, and as a person who plays a lot of, like, critical level one, I mean, I'm in it for everything, you know, I'm not, like, a gameplay, like, elitist, where it's like, oh, if the gameplay isn't perfect, like, then the game is, like, so much worse, you know, I'm in it for everything. Yeah. But I think, um, you know, if they put critical in the game, it would be good for, you know, people who do want the extra challenge, because even a lot of people that aren't really known to play critical or level one or the harder difficulties were saying that, you know, proud felt very easy. So I think it would be a very good addition for them to put in. Hell yeah. All right, cool. Um, so yeah, we'll move on to the Disney worlds then, since obviously, you know, we got the combat down and stuff. 